Well, good morning, guys. I just want to give you a quick update on my um, uh, coolant situation. I'm just going to spin the camera around real quick and point out where we are now. I apologize for not replying to all of you on this subject. I really appreciate everybody getting back to me. Give me your thoughts. But you can see how much that is down, which is half an inch on the reservoir. And that's probably in about oh, 12, 15 hours of running. I'll just take a quick boo. Oh. Here, I'm just doing my fluid checks. Oh, look at that. Reservoirs, or sorry, the uh, actual um, heat exchanger is right up. So it's just that reservoir down a little bit. Nothing to be excited about. Nothing for me to get worried about. You can see where that one is there. It hasn't moved at all in that same amount of time. So I think I'm just gonna let sleeping dogs lie. Now I'm gonna guess that the situation is as a result of what a couple of you guys suggested is that there's a leak uh, somewhere in the uh, uh, heat exchanger and it's allowing some coolant to bypass and just piss out through the exhaust because I believe it was that heat exchanger that the previous owner had taken off. He said there was a clog in it or whatever, and he rebuilt it, cleaned it, flushed it. I don't know. Anyways, the bolt runs fine. The uh, engine temperature is always good. Of course, I keep an eye on that uh, religiously, constantly, while we are driving, running, because I know what it's like to uh, lose an impeller when you're at, at full speed um, and see an overheating situation. So that's where we stand with that. I'm just gonna leave it as is it doesn't bother me i'm not going to worry about it again i appreciate all of your comments and um yeah that's what it is so i'm just giving you a quick heads up on that simply because we are at a port for today and tonight and then we're going to head off again tomorrow so i'm just down here checking the oil and having a quick perusal making sure everything looks good which it does um <laughs> but that said there's uh one issue that you'll see coming up in a future video if you watch my uh, if you follow my Instagram um, page, which you should, you'll see that we had an issue with the uh, house batteries. And yes, those are the same house batteries that I replaced one year ago, almost today. And they crapped out uh, a few days ago when we were up in Peterborough. And so we got two new house batteries, uh, but that's not the problem. The problem is the batteries, it's the charger. But look at my Instagram account. And by the time we get to Peterborough, Peterborough, in this series, you'll have a bigger, uh, a clearer explanation of what's going on there. Again, nothing I'm going to worry about, so don't need any suggestions. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know what it is. It's just, it's more money, honey, but that's okay. What have I said before? I fully expect and I anticipate that there will be breakdowns as we are on our holidays. It happens every year, and it doesn't matter what I do to try and stay, stay on top of things. Things crap out. It's a 21 year old boat, so pfft, whatever. I don't care. Um, oh, real final, real final, <laughs> which uh, on the next video in the series on the uh, Epic Boat Cruise 2019 series, I am going to explain to you, Lucy, about that generator and why the uh, timer is showing, the hour meter is showing 5,600 hours. Yes, 5,600 hours on that old Wester Beat. Now that's got to be a service record, almost. What have we got? 5614.8, I believe. Is that what it says? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Okay, yes. Oh, you shouldn't be walking around your engine department with bare feet. I know, I know, but I don't care. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, everyone's good. Looks good. Engine oil right up nice clean so there's nothing getting into the uh, engine uh, as far as cooling is concerned uh, nice still golden from my last oil change which is probably 20 hours 15 20 hours since that last oil change uh, run hours that it is and everything else looks good so anyways we are continuing on with our uh, epic cruise 2018 so far so good right now we are at the farthest extent of where we've traveled and we are going beyond so you gotta this is just a quickie in term video just to let you guys know and again thank you for your suggestions on the uh the coolant situation so one last look 
down at that engine compartment and I don't know who it was but yesterday somebody commented on one of the videos on how clean that engine compartment looks and I replied no it's still not to my standards a little bit embarrassing but whatever it is what it is maybe before the season's out I'll get down there and really wash things out well but yeah things are going good so like I said just a quickie and in term to thank you guys for uh, following watching and helping with your suggestions as always always appreciated so we will see you on the next one. I gotta get this hatched now before Anchor Girl comes back from the laundry room and have it all nice and clean. I'm gonna start wiping down the inside of the boat because we have a beautiful, sunny, dry day. It's not super, super humid yet, so I just wanna wipe things down uh, before we get going. So I will see you on the next ones, my friends. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll subscribe so you don't miss any of the new boating videos coming out. You can also check out daily content on my Facebook and Instagram pages. So have a look at that. Now, if you'd like to support the channel a little bit more, check out my Patreon page to see how easy it is for you to help. And of course, you can head over to my main site at BoatingWithBoogaboo.com to find out all sorts of fun stuff. So again, thanks for following along, thanks for subscribing, thanks for supporting the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers!